This week, STN was privileged to meet University of Hartford Board of Regents member Tom Trillo. Mr. Trillo worked for Cantor Fitzgerald on the 101st through 105th floors of the World Trade Center and was at the World Trade Center that day when the planes hit. Tom Trillo had been working for the financial services company Cantor Fitzgerald in the World Trade Center for four years in 2001. On September 11th, he was supposed to be in a meeting at 7.30 in the morning. My secretary had told me that the people I was supposed to meet with uh, had canceled the meeting. And so after being out late the night before with the company event, I just decided to roll over and take an extra hour of sleep. Trillo made his way into work an hour later than usual. I actually wound up taking a very circuitous route that I had never taken before to get to the office and literally arrived at the base of the building as the plane uh, hit, the first plane hit uh, the northern tower. So you saw it happen? Uh, I can't say I really saw it happen. I saw a flash of light because I was parked at the corner of uh, West Street and Vesey Street, which was the northwestern corner of the Trade Center block. Trillo's first instinct was that there was an explosion in the Cantor Fitzgerald office and had gone into the lobby of the building. When the elevators came down and the doors opened, they literally sent out fireballs uh, out of the elevator and basically created an explosion in the lobby that blew out all the windows on the first floor. Trillo still attempts to go upstairs, but is pushed by the crowd of people back outside the building and into the plaza. You could see the fear in people's faces. There was a, a lot of uh, anxiety going on with people because no one really had, no one had an idea what was going on. Trillo then tries to leave Manhattan, but soon finds out all of the bridges are closed. He goes to a friend's office building where after three hours he is able to call his wife Jennifer and tell her he is okay, but that hundreds of his friends were dead. Uh, I remained in the city for the next three days. And at uh, about 2.30 that, that afternoon, uh, the CEO of the company, uh, of Cantor Fitzgerald Butnick, called me on my cell phone. And he yeah, you know, said, thank God you're alive. And he said, uh, we need to pull whatever we can together. The hope is to pull as much of the company together as quickly as possible to keep the business running in order to support the families of the 658 colleagues who had been killed. We're pretty much working, you know, 18, 20 hour days for seven days a week. After about a week moving out to Rochelle Park, New Jersey, and uh, that was my home. Probably for the next year, uh, and it was a, uh, a data center. So it was a building that had no windows, so you had no idea what time it was. Trillo's feelings had him caught between the emotions of what had happened and rebuilding his wounded company. I've got to stay focused on the ball, which was bringing the company back into existence. And uh, there was a lot of personal sacrifice and impact, uh, even on my own family. Um, uh, you know, I really didn't see you know, my wife and kids very much for a year. Trillo and the company's hard work did pay off. The CEO, uh, Lutnick, uh, kept to his word, um, put the profits as the, they came back. And, uh, you know, they built a relief fund of probably over $100 million that uh, is still managed in effect today and really helps those families. Today, Trillo works for Ridgefield Capital in Connecticut and still takes time to reflect each September 11th. You know, you're going to go through different events in your life um, and they kind of mold and shape you. Uh, and I think it's how you choose to handle those events that help you move forward. All right, and again, STN, thanks, Mr. Trillo, for sitting down with us. Coming up after the break, we'll take a look at the on-campus memorial the university created to memorialize the alumni who were lost on 9-11. And we'll speak with the STN crew who went down to New York the day after the tragedy happened. Stay with us. You're watching 9-11 one decade later from New York on STN2.